Put a smile on your face When you're moving from place to place, place. Good morning, good morning, morning, good morning Viewers, welcome back to the morning show here on Tobago Updates Television. I am your host, Lavian Cupid, and we are having lots of conversations this morning. But even before we jump into that, I want to say good morning to some of our very loyal viewers here on the live. We have Pearl Mori Beard, Myrtle Chaz, Dora Lyons, Marilyn Spence, Joe Field, Bevon George. Good morning to you guys. Thank you all so much again for making the morning show your number one choice. And we are diving right into conversations this morning with none other than the youngest veteran, Mr. Wayne John, as we talk about his short film release, The Designated Pan. Good morning, Wayne. Good morning, Lavion, and good morning to all your wonderful viewers. It's a big updates family. Thanks for having me. It is indeed a pleasure to have you. All right, so we're talking about a short film. Mm -hmm. But even before we get into the film, you are no stranger to the film industry. Mm -hmm. And you would have had previous short film releases before. Before, yes. Yeah, could you touch a bit on your history in, in the film industry? Um, so my first documentary film was, well, the first film I ever did was a documentary. Um, it was a, a sort of nostalgic walk through the village of Dallaford. Um, with an interview with Mr. Alfred Gray, one of the elders at the time, um, God rest his soul. Mm -hmm. um, it's called His Story. After that, I would have delved into a little bit of um, directing cast and stuff with a short film called Kill with, Kill with Kindness. In 2018, I did a folklore kind of story um, entitled Dead Notes. Mm -hmm. and, I remember that. Yes, and... I'm now coming back with a documentary of all genres entitled The Designated Pan. Right, but you are also a writer, director, and producer. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right, multi-hyphenated, I like that. Um, so tell me a bit about your inspiration and, and, and your love for writing and mm -hmm. directing and producing for putting these, these masterpieces together. Well, um, for me, writing is the heart string. Mm -hmm. I will do anything else in film, but where the heart lies is in the, is in the screenwriting. Um, but for documentary film like, like this, um, it wasn't much of, um, you know, there are documentary films where, they are, where you have to write screenplays, but there are some where you just pick up a camera and you just go on the wimp and you just catch the, the, the interview and the shots and the, you just tell the story as it happened. Um, and this is one of them. In that natural element. In the I, natural element. I think that the best stories are told like that. Exactly. Yeah, because cool that. when you try sometimes to put a stage production together, you try to have everything perfectly everything, aligned. Yes, yes, it it yes. takes away that authenticity. It takes Very away that so. human. And, you know, a lot of persons right now, we... We fail to realize that a lot of persons on social media, the reason why storytelling pulls us in so much and the persons that do storytelling on TikTok and so on, they have the highest amount of views is because mm -hmm. persons are trying to make human connections. Very they are looking so. for relatable mm -hmm. content. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Good. And that is exactly what you are out yes. here doing, bringing it yes. here in the Tobago space. All right. So the designated pan. Mm -hmm. We know that the pan is the, is the only <laughs> acoustic um, instrument to be invented in the yes. 20th century, the designated pan. And we've been having quite a lot of discussions about it. So tell me the inspiration mm -hmm. and tell me where we're going. Well, the, when the idea first came, it came from just scrolling through social media. Mm -hmm. um, I was scrolling, scrolling through and I saw the headline about the pan being designated in the parliament as the national instrument of Trinidad and Tobago. And the comments were varying some saying that the, it is about time, some saying um, they didn't know that it was already, they thought it was already right, the National already Instrument that, yeah. of Trinidad and Tobago. Um, and some were like, you know, okay, so they designate the pan, so what, what, what's, what's happening with it there now? Um, and I don't know, like the idea just <clears throat> came and it, as I was describing it to somebody the other day, it just came and it colored me up. And it said, do this, do this. And... Uh, I couldn't get away from it and I'd reached out to some household names in the pan world and when they said yes, that was my confirmation that yes, we should go through with this. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's a short film, but it's more of a documentary. And it's not, a documentary. Not something that you would have written. It's no, not a written it's piece. A, not a written piece. All it's right. a documentary film. So um, 
So this film, it takes the form of the history of the pan story, um, not only the pan invention, but the all the activity. Well, not all because I can't cover all, but yes. as, as 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 much as possible. possible. Mm -hmm. The activities that led to the pan being created, um, and those historical facts would be intercut with um, interviews from the names that um, that you would have seen on the flyer: the Leandro Nori, Kishon, Julian. Jared Balfour, uh, O.J. Richards, Duvon Stewart, Roger Sardina, Delvoot Henry. A lot of interviews was done. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm hearing, as you really did say, household names, very mm -hmm. popular names. <clears throat> um, throughout the pan space in Trinidad, in Trinidad and, and Tobago. And Tobago yes. But did mm -hmm. you have to take a flight and go down to do anything? Or was it all done right here in Tobago? Was there any collaborations? Well, for for one of the interviews I had was to do in Trinidad. That is um, Duvon Stewart. He's a pretty busy guy. As a, as a matter of fact, I believe, if I remember correctly, the day I did the interview with him, I uh, went down on the boat that morning and it was trouble to get on the boat because it's around Java time, July, August vacation. And you know how them how that um, traveling situation does be. Um, so I did the interview with him in the morning. He dropped me back to the port. And I think that same day, he left from the port and went to the airport or went home and then went to the airport on a flight to London. So he, I, I got him like that space of time. Just that make a time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah. right. So mm -hmm. after you would have put in all that time, you put in all that energy, mm -hmm. the editing, does that come down to you? Woo! <laughs> so this is a labor of love from it Wayne is. John. Yes, it is, it is. All right. So what, once it, once you come Sunday, um, what you're seeing is everything from inside. Right. Everything from inside, the research that went into it, the getting the story and putting it together, editing it down is mm -hmm. everything is we enjoy. It's a love project. It's a love project. <laughs> All right. And you mentioned Sunday. So tell me how a person's going to be able to see the short film, where a person's going to be seeing this short film, what to expect. Mm -hmm. Give me all the deets. Mm -hmm. So on Sunday, the 22nd of September, uh, we will be at the Lowlands Multipurpose Facility. That's the community center just next to Wasa in Lowlands. Uh, we are there from 6 p.m., the film. Uh, we are screening the film at 6 or just, uh, just about 6.15 mm -hmm. around there. Give people, um, people time to come in. But we'll be there from officially from 6. Um, and yeah, it's a, it's a film that, 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 I, I, I don't want to open my mouth too much, about, but it's, it's, it, it takes us deep. It takes us deep. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's a film that you should see because, I mean, you never know where you're going until you know where you're coming mm -hmm. from. And this is a film that tells us, well, specifically the pan, but it tells us um, where we would have come from as a people, you know. And it's a story of hope. It's a story of, you know, coming of age for the pan because it's a, product that would have been ver that would have faced a lot of stigmatizations mm -hmm. a lot of a, a, a lot of it wasn't socially accepted and it com it came from there to being you know elevated to this high position where we are now discussing putting it on one of our coat most of yeah. national um emblems um the coat of arms so it's a story of hope it's a story of you know strength it's a story of you know pushing through adversities because our people would have faced a lot a lot, a lot. Um, those research really opened my eyes about us as a people and where we would have come from. So come see the film to be that inspired. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. All right. And it is something like a family event. Mm -hmm. Bring the kids along yes. as well, right? Yes. Now, yes. Wayne would have, and I want to make sure that I look directly into the camera when I say this, that Wayne would not have only put his time his strengths his finances his mind but he put his everything into this and we should definitely go out and support i want to know is there a fee attached because i'm thinking that there should be a fee attached because anything good is worth something, something. yeah a very very small fee right a very very small fee it's only you know when we use the word only it's it's it's, it's, it's you hear a big number after that but it's only sixty dollars sixty dollars ah, at the nice. door you come and you um be entertained, be inspired, and, you know, leave, you know, 
with something more than you would have come with. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. And I want to encourage viewers out there, definitely come out and see this film. Sure and thing. you would have mentioned history and knowing where we come from. I am currently reading a book, How to Say Babylon, by a Jamaican um, author. And I did not know all of that would have happened with the Rastafarians mm -hmm. right in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. And so reading short documentaries, all these things, they give us fast knowledge that we need, that our children need, because I cannot wait to regurgitate all that information to my children. So definitely coming out and seeing this short film. And if, sorry for inter, inter, in, interjecting, but right it's, a, it's, a, um, it's a project that is so important as well, because archiving, I can't stress this enough, there are information in this piece that is, it's hard to get. It, you could get it, but it's there, but it's, it's a bit difficult to get. Mm -hmm. So a project like this is bringing the information from, from that dormant, mm -hmm. you know, very hard to get to place to a place where you could just come on, 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 a, on, a, on a, any given day, sit down and they take in right. all the, the same information. A curated so, synopsis yeah, of, yeah, everything. Of, of everything. I like so that. So that is why projects like this is important. Very important. Mm -hmm. And this is why we should definitely go out and support. I think too many times we have that conversation about support, support, support. But support is getting up and getting out of the house, getting dressed. Mm -hmm. So Sunday, definitely, I would definitely, definitely be there. So I am looking forward to seeing all of you guys. All right. And Wayne could have said it any better there are so many reasons why we need to be there on sunday i want to see everybody in their casual dandy out supporting the youngest veteran mr wayne john right here in our tobago space wayne i want to thank you so much for joining us and just in case you want to tell anybody out there something say thank you or to encourage why they need to come out and see, see this film please do so um tobago again good morning and i am urging you to come out to see this film and not only to see this film but to support each other um i think we, we really need it and um we just need to just love our our stuff just mm -hmm. love our stuff if that is one thing i could leave with tobago this morning love our stuff before other people love it and have to tell us how good it is before we love it mm. Indeed, I love that. All right, thank you so much, Wayne. John, viewers, we have been speaking to Wayne John about his short film being premiered this Sunday at the Lowlands Multipurpose Center at 6 p.m. Be on time. It is only $60. Please bring your kids out as well. You want them to have this information. It is a family event. Bring them out. After that, you could have some ice cream. Please be there this Sunday. I would be there and I would be definitely reminding you, all right? So we go for a quick break. And as we go for a break, you know we have a packed show here for you. So don't go anywhere. Remember to share the live, share the live, share the live.